In this video, I'll explain how the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines work. Don't turn away because that starts right now. Hey! Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I'm the founder of the Boster Center for Multiple Sclerosis where we care for families impacted by MS from around the globe. It is late December 2020 as I make this video. The world is grappling with a global viral pandemic, a novel coronavirus, COVID-19. Here in the United States, we have lost over 300,000 Americans to the virus. And finally, we have some vaccines that are available. These vaccines are unique. They're mRNA vaccines. And I have had a host of questions, both in my own clinic and here on my YouTube channel. And so in this video, I want to help you understand how the mRNA vaccines work and why I think they're absolutely brilliant. Let's jump in. I recently put out a video about Vaccine 101, where I help you understand the concepts behind vaccines in general and why they're so important. And so if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click that link and you can check that out. By way of very brief review, Normally, the way that we make a vaccine is as follows. We isolate a virus and we kill it and split it up into tiny little pieces. We load it into a syringe, we inject it into your body, and we show the human immune system all the little parts and pieces, all these like shreds of viral protein. The human immune system identifies those viral proteins and builds an arsenal against them. So antibodies and T cells that specifically identify those viral proteins. Then you maintain that immunity in your body. And maybe years later, when you come in contact with that virus, that immune arsenal has been waiting and it can identify it quickly and pounce on it and clear it. The situation that we're faced with today with this novel coronavirus, COVID-19, is that that didn't work. We weren't able to, to use that process. And so what the research scientists came up with is absolutely brilliant. It's scientifically eloquent. Instead of making the protein, they isolated the blueprint for which you make the protein. That's called mRNA. I'll come back to that. And they inject the mRNA into your body and your body sees the blueprint and uses its own cells to make the viral protein. So you construct the viral protein. Now, not the virus, just one protein, the spike protein. I sort of think of it as you don't make the unicorn, you just make the horn. Now you have the spike protein floating around your body. This is a viral protein and your immune system identifies it as such. It then builds an arsenal against the COVID-19 spike protein, antibodies and T cells. And that way, if you see COVID-19, the actual infection, your body is primed and can clear it. It's absolutely brilliant. So here's an analogy that I use in clinic to help people understand. Imagine that you were going to build a bookcase unit. And so you got a hold of an Ikea manual or a blueprint on how to put together one of their bookcases, except it doesn't have any parts with it. It's just the manual, the blueprint. So you take it back to your house and you search around your house and you find a bunch of pieces of materials and wood in your own home and you follow that blueprint and you construct the bookcase unit. Now you look at that thing and you identify it as an Ikea bookcase unit. That's very similar to how this awesome mRNA vaccine works. Now I would like to address a lot of fear and concerns uh, and questions surrounding these mRNA vaccines. For starters, the mRNA vaccine is not a live vaccine. That's very relevant for people impacted by MS as we encourage folks to avoid live vaccines. And these coronavirus vaccines are not alive. I'm specifically talking about the Pfizer and the Moderna mRNA vaccines. Number two, mRNA vaccines are not exactly brand new. In fact, we've been studying this kind of vaccine for over a decade. Number three, and very importantly, these vaccines do not enter into your genetic code. They don't change your DNA at all. In order for that to happen, the vaccine would have to enter into the human cell's nucleus, and that's impossible in this situation. And so there's no concern that you're gonna have your genome rewritten. In fact, the mRNA blueprint gets degraded after it's been used. The longer it sits inside the human cell, the enzymes in the cell start to break it down. And so at the end of the day, the mRNA signal is completely dissolved. 
I believe these vaccines to be safe and a godsend in helping us cope with this global viral pandemic. I plan to take the vaccine as soon as I'm able to, and I plan to offer it to my family and to the patients in my clinic. I encourage you to do the same with you and your family. My name is Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me, and today talking about the novel coronavirus mRNA vaccines. If you'd like to learn more on this topic, click the video that's on your screen right now. And until my next video or my next live stream, or the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, be safe and take care.